win a bracket semi-final. Here we go on supply in three, two, one. We are fight. I'll give you a better ETTV sync up in just a moment. Gaming to perfection, lining up on the allied side. This is Queens' map. Queens have picked um, supply and they line up with Clown, Mind, Raz, Perfo, Physic and Cot as the early FFEs rain in from them and uh, hold up that Gaming to Perfection side. The uh, G2P team line up with Cherry, Grim, Stonage, Cresty, Jera, and Blade. And the G2, this match, as we were talking about earlier, really represents two very different schools of enemy territory. Not the, uh, not the new school by any means, but you've got a team of uh, halves versus a team of a team of wants. This gaming to perfection side want to win. They are hungry for gold. And they have a dynamite planted on the four bunker gate at 14 minutes and five seconds. They've rolled through this first stage. Queens absolutely mullered. I was still halfway through my match introduction when Queens just said, eh, actually, we're not going to do anything on this first stage. And gaming to perfection must be smelling gold here. The G2P side, as I mentioned, want gold. They're a lineup of people who've been around a very long time. Met all of these people at the uh, Crossfire Lands, and they've never quite been able to breach it. The best would be the likes of Jera uh, and Cherry, who, you know, with um, Worm and the gang, I think they made it to third or fourth in one of those tournaments. But Cresty and Stonage never did. On their opponent's side, you've got someone like Clown, who's got Crossfire Challenge gold medals just decorating his bathroom. And... Uh, they, however, that Queen side, are being challenged here by G2P. Queens with a light roster change with Physic coming in at right on game time will really be uh, a little bit, well, rusty to say the uh, to say the truth. Missile was practiced, and I got it made a mistake earlier. It was Mind that said that Missile had just been practiced by Queens with a Nexus before this match. So got that one wrong, possibly the wrong uh, map to have gone for for the G2P side. Who knows? They're making a pretty good show of themselves here on Supply Depot. 12 minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Um, and we are underway in earnest as um, Clown and Cot help themselves to a hat trick of frags. There goes uh, Physic. Oh, Physic, ting ting. And that'll be Grim picked off as Mind helps himself to a landmine frag. And Perfo gets himself another one. Game to perfection. I have uh, been held up a little bit on this middle stage as they try to get uh, the command post or break down through the tunnel, whichever comes first, and just shifts that Queen side back a notch. But Queen's laying down all sorts of fire. Raz with an artillery and MP40 frag. Cot helps himself to another MP40 frag. And here go the G2P side once more. Over the hill, and or up to the hill, and uh, go for a revive. Still five players out there. And they're struggling to uh, struggling to make a dead. It's less that Queen's haven't offered much variance because they've been down the tunnel. They've been uh, over the middle. They've offered a, a handful of different uh, strategies in the two minutes they've been pushing up this hill. But it's more the fact that Queen's have uh, had artilleries blocking them every which now. I'm on board with Grim right now, and he's getting hammered by artillery. He and Cresty, though, have made it through. It's all down to Cot now to save it. Cot picks up one, but here comes the stand power of Cresty from behind. Good work from Cresty. He had a choice. Does he go straight for the objective, or does he wait, come around the back, and uh, surprise Cot? He did exactly that, although I'm not sure Cot knew Cresty was there, uh, in fact. It's uh, been a long, long time since I've said the word Cot. Not because I'm afraid of it, but because Cot hasn't been uh, uh, around. There you go. Uh, Leon uh, has decided to tell me that Mind was just trolling. I should have known better when referencing uh, Mind. Uh, apparently they practiced Supply Depot and uh, and Gold Rush against the uh, Nexus side. So thank you, Leon, for uh, pointing out my, my being trolled. Uh, as uh, 10 minutes and 41, 40 39 on the clock. Dynamite is yellow on the front door. Cherry is there. He's going to get a revive from uh, one. Jera is also going to try and put his pliers to the uh, Dynamite. He does so, but G2P running out of numbers down by there. If there's an engineer to get there, he shouldn't face too much difficulty. Is it... Uh I don't see any engineers, though, and that's because someone from the game to, uh, Gaming to Perfection side broke through. I think it was Blade, and uh, that uh, certainly will have done enough to uh, push the uh, Queen side back. And they are now going to uh, have to fall all the way back. And with just over 10 minutes to go, 
10 minutes and three seconds left. As uh, Cherry's double grenade really does a job. Physical mind both picked off and uh, Queens caught men down here as Dynamite goes down on West. Jerry's going to come across and support with grenades. He and Cherry tossing up and they're getting themselves another grenade frag. Never seen so many. Rifle landed by Jerry as well. Drops Raz as he basketball hoops that one in. He's going to boost Grim over towards the top and uh, Grim will dive through. Blade is up on the top as well and this queen side being breached as every wall gets uh, poked open and uh, Queens must now push on in. Let's see what they can uh, do. Physic is going to make himself known as he gets revived by Raz. Raz now pops himself up to the top and uh, goes goes a shooting as uh, they get themselves a frag onto Blade before self-killing and regrouping. For Queens it's absolutely crucial that uh, they can find themselves another 90 seconds or so and that'll set them up all right for hitting that 10 minute time uh, which you know, gives you any number of chances here on uh, Supply Depot. But a very open Supply Depot thus far. Eight minutes and 50 seconds left to play as Mine gets himself a K-43 frag and then gets a Thompson up his backside. Raz now pokes his head through the front door, charges up towards the side and uh, self-kills out as the Queen side regroups. So good work from Queens. Their discipline's been fine. Their self-kills have kept everyone organized and they have uh, never been caught lacking numbers. But on the uh, G2P side, you can look at the grenades that they've been able to throw. Some of their boosting has opened up this defense quite nicely. Um, but that's that area for, I guess, uh, flamboyant attacking play is pretty much over now. Now that the East and West and Main are all opened up by the Dynamites, excuse me, now that Queen aren't particularly holding in one particular area, they're free to poke their heads out and look and see where people go for a boost, and it doesn't really offer them too much. And obviously, if you're boosting on one side, that takes one or two players out of the loop, so it's kind of an easy scenario to defend at times when you're all opened up like this. But I say all of that, and whilst I'm waffling on about rubbish, you've got Gaming to Perfection who have made their way through and have now got the truck into position. Cresty's done the job, and uh, they're now going to try and chase up here and see if they can get... Uh, these dynamite, these crane controls built. Pan a rifle nade hits in the face of one, and there's Cherry down by another rifle, but there's a second engineer. He's going to get it built, but there's no one to press the red button, and then Grim comes along. He activates the crane and then self-kills. For a second, I thought he wasn't even going to get it before he uh, self-killed, and Perfo will have to uh, set up the defensive job. Seven minutes and 12 seconds to go, and uh, Queens have uh, found themselves pushed a little bit further back for comfort here as G2P are uh, looking good at the moment. It's going to be mined and cut to pick up some frags and Queens need to find a little bit of time here. We're headed for, well if the truck left now we'll be headed for a nine minute time. Now Cresty's going to go in there and just overpowering the Queen side really getting caught out here just de defending one by one by one and uh, Gaining to perfection, just picking them off with medic revives going in all over the place and always having more numbers than their opponents. Raz tosses a grenade in the back of the truck. Clown will poke his head out, and they've just about stopped that tr truck from going around the corner. It sat very much on the corner, but Physic doesn't get the revive onto Mind in time, and Mind's been kind of quiet in this game. Uh, I'll, I'll probably pop up the damage stats, and he'll have a heck of a lot more, but Raz is going to push out, and as Raz pushes up, He's going to have to deliver. Cot taken out by a teammate's grenade as they self-kill. And then Grim flies off that rock. Takes himself the frag onto uh, Physic. And then goes looking for Perfo. Doesn't quite find him, but he's got eyes on the truck. Cot double MP40 frag rolling back the years as uh, Luger comes out from Perfo picking off one. Cherry Thompson does her job. Perfo with another Luger frag as with five minutes and 50 to go, Raz chimes in with one of his own as well. And the Queen side have racked up frag after frag after frag, but Gaming to Perfection have always got a syringe out. And that's not to suggest that they're hardcore drug addicts. That's more to suggest that their medic work has been absolutely fantastic. And uh, now let's see whether that can continue and they can get this truck out. 5.30 to go as uh, Perfo picks himself up an MP40 and uh, downs one. Physics has been picked off and he seems to be the brunt of all of G2P's frags at the moment. As uh, Blade is going to get himself chased out as well. Stone Inch and Blade will come in from... Uh, the East Depot wall, and uh, 
Stone is just going to have to get a revive, and neither of them will make their way through as they chase out. Four medics coming through east now, as the truck is already moving as Cresty's pushed it along. Grim tries to get in there, can't quite, and uh, Blade does get towards that truck, but he's a, he's a moving target that's swatted like a clay pigeon. And uh, now, with 4.50 on the clock, Queens are going to get in the back. Oh, what a grenade from Clown, right as I think it was Grim nestled in the back, hitting the set, thinking, I'm going to get this truck out of here. It's going to be good. Uh, no, in the end, it wasn't. And um, we have four minutes and 32 seconds left to go as Perfo drops Clown on his own side. And here we go. Physic makes his way in through the side. He's uh, going to get himself, as I say, no matter whenever I look at Physic, he's getting himself killed. And right on cue, he does there. He only joined Queens about, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes ago. But... Uh, He's uh, certainly made an impact, perhaps not positive. Truck moving through the door, and this should be the uh, this should be the last push for G2P now. Barring that support fire that's billowing its way out of the truck now, doing any damage, uh, the truck will move around that corner, and we're going to look at about 11 minute and 30 second time, if all being well for G2P, which is plenty for Queens to attack. The question is. Can they finish the job? Raz's artillery rains down, but the truck will go. And um, there you go. Time is going to be set. It is going to be 11 minutes and 30, sorry, 24 seconds. And uh, we'll see when we come back whether these guys have got anything left in the tank um, from the game to, be fair, to perfection side. Queens have to be the favorites, but 11-24 is a defendable time. We'll be right back. You're on.